Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to convert text to a JavaScript array. Now this is going to be applicable for any JavaScript essentially, and we are using JSON, but that's pretty much compatible with any ECMA version. And what we're going to be doing is basically taking a chunk of text from something like a Wikipedia article. And when we run this, it will create a file on our desktop, which has our JavaScript array output. And when we look at this, it's going to convert basically everything into an array format. So we can then read this and randomize the letters or words to create basically random sentences or paragraphs. I use this in my InDesign basic tutorial to basically generate random text instead of the standard lorem ipsum. So that's kind of what the use of this is. Or you could even go the extra mile and make this a little bit smarter to make coherent sentences. So again, the whole point of this is to take text, just any bit of text, uh, it could be small or huge, put it into a text file and convert it into something that you can read in as a JavaScript array and randomize any of the words and get random words. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this on GitHub, try it out for yourself and make any modifications you wish. Be sure to follow us there because we always upload code way before on GitHub than the videos themselves. And down in the description, you can also follow us on Instagram for other updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can join the scripting extensions, plugins, expressions, and many other channels, ask questions, and have good discussions. And if you would like to help support the YouTube channel, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. So I'm basically gonna be going over how the script works so you can make modifications yourself. It's quite simple, and I'm not really gonna go over line by line how uh, it was created because you can pretty much read how it works. The first thing we do is take a Wikipedia article or any large bit of text, copy the text in it, and then we wanna create a text document with all of this text inside of it. Then you can just basically save it as whatever you want. I just called mine louis.txt, and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Then inside of the script itself, I have an inline inclusion of JSON here. So I can basically take uh, data, turn it into an array or stringify it super easily back and forth between reading it and putting it in the file. I have a tutorial on that you can check out in the info button. And then I define my input and my output files. I'm going to input this text file with all of this text here. And I'm gonna output a file called JavaScript array output.txt. And as I showed you before, this is gonna contain a stringified JavaScript object, which we can easily read into the program by reading a file and parsing it into an array itself. So all I have to do is say, read this file and parse it using JSON, and I have this giant array of words. So the main function here, I just named text to JavaScript array, takes an input and an output file. Again, the input file has all of our text, and the output file is gonna be where that text is converted into an array. Like I said, we're going to take our input file and read it. So I opened it up to read it. And then I'm going to just store this data in a variable called input data. I'm gonna read the whole file and convert it to a string just to be safe. Then I'm going to have a variable. I just called mine input data and I'm gonna read all the information from our file. This could be a small bit of text or a ton. Then after I've closed it, I'm just going to make something called a word array. This is going to contain everything that I can sort of parse out of this big uh, bit of text. A lot of times there are characters that we don't want in say, for example, Wikipedia articles. A lot of times we don't want brackets, uh, question marks. Sometimes you want things like that. But usually in this case, since we just want the words, we're going to try and remove all the stuff we don't want. Uh, in my case, I'm going to replace all commas all periods, all numbers, and all new lines with a space or without anything. So that way we can kind of get rid of a lot of the stuff that's gonna cause issues because what we're gonna do is stringifying this and we don't want commas to represent something that they're not. So what I could do is maybe say alert my input data. I'm gonna do this before. Uh, what I do is split it because I wanna show you what it looks like. So if I take my input data, I might actually get a giant alert that freezes my computer, we'll see what happens here. It looks like it's, it's trying to load, uh, perhaps it's too much data. Oh, I'm actually, I'm showing it in After Effects. So this is my input data. You can see after replacing commas, periods zero through nine and new lines, things are quite a bit more clean. Uh, I could go in and maybe remove some of the other stuff as well if I need to, 
um, but in this case, it's fine. What I'm gonna do is then split all that data by space. What I'm gonna do by splitting it is I'm gonna convert any string to basically an array by anything that's separated by space. So that's gonna give me a big array of all of my words. And then I'm gonna take my big array I have and open up my output file for writing and write all of my new words array and I'm gonna stringify it so that way I can read it back in. So theoretically, all we can we need to do now to get a random word um, is to grab our output file, which is gonna be output.open. We're gonna to open to read it. And I'm gonna say my, let's call it our read array. For now it will be empty. Uh, but now I'm going to say read array is equal to our output.read. And I'm actually going to parse this. So json.parse. And then I'll take output.close. Now if I say something like read array, this should display my giant new array. You can see everything now is separated by a comma. So I could go in and select, I don't know, index 50. And this gives me a random word, acknowledged. And what I can do to really randomize it is say math.random times uh, our read array dot length. I actually want to floor all of this to make sure it's an integer and not some random decimal. And now every time I run this, I'm going to get a different word reduced between the and what you can do is just simply run through a whole bunch of loops of this and get random words and use that to however you see fit for your project. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out this code on GitHub. Try it out for yourself. Make a fork and make your own adjustments to it if you want. Make sure you follow us there for code updates, as the code always gets released on GitHub way before the videos come out. And of course, down in the description, follow us on Instagram for other updates. If you're not a member of our Discord server, come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. We have a thriving community with our esteemed channel members, as well as many other helpful people. And if you want to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.